Hello Goat Lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and welcome back to another crazy wind event here in Southern Arizona and we got quite a bit of rain headed our way. So we're looking like it's gonna be raining for at least the next couple of days. So naturally that means Dreamer would love to go into labor. Ain't that right Dreamer? Oh my goodness, girl. You picked a not so great day. But that's okay, huh? <laughs> I know, girl. So this here is Dreamer. She was born March of 2020. Her sire is Merle and her dam is Beautiful Dawn. Now this is she was bred to Aragon. She has had three freshens in total and she has given us one buck and five does so far. Miss Dreamer, sweet girl. So last night I brought Dreamer into this stall because I could hardly find her ligaments um, and she was just super, super squishy ishy, huh girl? Squishy ishy, so I was not trusting to leave her in, a, in the, the normal dough pan. I just wanted to make sure if she did go into labor, she had her own little spot, huh? And that look on your face, girl. So at this point, her contractions are really hard. Um, she's let out a couple just mild grunt pushes and those babies are just getting in position. Let's see, ain't that right? Oh, I can feel them. They're right there, yes. You're all right, Mama. She's okay. It is windy today, huh? So I'm suspecting she's gonna go here sooner than than later, just considering how hard her contractions are. Something I am really, really excited about is these are going to be the first Aragon babies born. So that means potential silvers. That would be really cool. Let me see if she'll let me show you her udder. It's so gorgeous. Oh, baby girl. That is amazing. So I was thinking um, potentially three. Emily guessed three and I guessed three for Dreamer. Um, but we will, we'll just have to see. That udder is definitely big enough for three or two bucks. So we're just gonna have to see. Poor baby. That is just gorgeous. I am so excited. <laughs> Will you want to say something? What, sweetheart? Okay. The look said it all, guys. Wowza. She's so beautiful. Oh, and her little heart. And she's been digging to China, so I don't know. She is a digger. Of course, it did look all nice and laid out and fluffy and pretty. And she's just been digging away. Okay, that's a hard contraction. Okay, that's a mild push. All right. Really? Okay, girl. Hey, goat lovers. Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. It is really important for our goats to get bred in the fall and have their kids in the spring. That way, they're ready to compete in the dairy goat shows. And after all the kids are weaned and have gone to their new homes, we continue to milk twice a day. We use that milk to make the best homemade goat milk soap you can find. So head on over to our Etsy shop and show your skin some love. The link to our Etsy shop is in the description below. All right, well, I stepped out because I was going to glove up real quick, and she's just she's just getting them up there. It is, it is definitely going to be soon, huh? So that's how I was just saying, those grunt pushes. 
Um, she just let, you guys saw that. She let out that. The there we go. Okay, water broke. So she's getting a little bit of relief. If you see, she's pooching out here. Now that is kind of normal for, um, even when they're not in labor really, when they get so big and full of babies, and then they'll lay down and their vulva can kind of pooch out. So that's nothing to really get distressed about. But when they are in labor, um, a lot of cases that means just things are coming forward. So check her out, water is breaking. Things are happening here and it's gonna happen quick. Oh, real quick, here we go. surprised me you are surprised me words 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 okay that looks like maybe even a hub that's the baby sack good job mama you're doing good you got this silver silver good job girl she's like a silent hitter she doesn't typically scream. Good job, girl. Keep doing it. I cannot tell how this baby is positioned. I see a hook. And there's a little tongue. You got this. That's a big head, I can tell. Okay. It's a chamoise. It does look like that. Almost, baby. All right, I'll break the sack to help you a little. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's a silver. Baby? No, I don't know. Hi. Hi. You did it, you did it. That is a giant. That's a big baby. I can't tell. <laughs> Hi. Oh my gosh, how neat. There is absolutely no way. Look, this is like silver legs. Oh my gosh. And he's a super, he or she's a super light chamose. That's a boy. Hi. Hi. Hello. You guys, I think this is what they would call a silver chamose, but I have no idea because I've never seen one in real life. Hello. Good job, girl. Well, you're pulled, I think. Yeah. Oh. What a cutie. How neat! There you go. Now your liquor's ready. You're a good job, Dreamer. Oh, All of ears. The first, the first Aragon baby. How exciting! Welcome. Welcome. Oh, his spine is silver. It's weird, it's like it's roaning. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I think that's a silver chamose. Look at that face, the nose is silver. Hi. Oh my goodness, gorgeous. Yeah, there's at least one more in there. Maybe two, that, that's feeling pretty full. So if she has three, that would explain the, the utter, the gorgeous bigness. Hopefully oh, she's got two other does. I'm hoping too. You are stunning. Absolutely stunning. He is a giant. You're, I'm gonna go with he's the biggest kid so far for sure. 
I mean, he is huge. Look at how hot he is. You can even tuck him out. He has long legs. This is too cool. I. He's absolutely partially silver. I mean, there's no way. He's got the silver legs. But he's got brown, and silver's supposed to color cover the whole body, so. Mom that, might just keep him. That's where my confusion is setting in here. You did it, girl. You got out the really big, huge guy, huh? Yeah. And now the little sisters are here with up. They ain't too much a talker. He's not. Another Here we go. Okay. Ooh. That's a big, 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 big kid. That ain't no silver. Nope. But look at hair. Ooh, blue eyes. Hi. I'm coming, I'm coming. another one and that is a girl yes <laughs> good job yeah. good job dreamer she's such a good girl Easy kidder for sure. Okay. You little stinker. Let me see. I think Emily. I think she's done. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she's done, but maybe one more. She's not standing, so I can't really bump her. You are amazing, girl. I'm so proud of you. Just like that. Two little angels. Yes. Oh, it's see blue-eyed and cold. How fun. She's starving. He's just kind of chilling. Man, he's cool. You are neat. Those are some big babies, Dreamer.
Jeez. Oh, they're already hungry. Let me just make sure your teats are cleared here. Girl. Oh, they're not. Hold on, I'll get them. There we go. There we go. Now they can eat. Right there, pretty. Good job, Mama. It. Look at him, he's almost there. Again. Too cool. Isn't that funny? They're so different. Uh -huh. So mama here is a chamose, which is the stripe along the back, the technically black boots, <laughs> and black stripes on the face, and a black underbelly is what a chamose is. And he took on the chamose. He's got the legs and stuff, but they look silver. And his little silver face was too cool. And he's got a silver belly. Wow. That is a silver chamose. I've never seen one, and then this is so cool. It's like a broken silver chamose. He is too cool. He's a Daragon. <laughs> so we name our the kids. We actually name them after their dam. Uh, the letter that their dam has gets carried on to the kids. So this is Dreamer. The dad is Aragon. So Daragon. Derek said that's actually funny. That's funny and cute. Man, he's cool. Oh, too cute. And I am almost certain this little girl is going to end up being a chocolate just from the look around her eyeballs. She is blue eyed and maybe pulled. And chocolate is just a modifier. So if there's anywhere on a goat that could be black, there is what's called a modifier gene and it can turn it chocolate. So as I was saying, the boots are typically black, except for Dreamer here is a chocolate. And that's why she's got the brown boots. And I think he just had a little chocolate dough. So this is so cool. Dreamer never ever disappoints. Never ever. Look at him. He's just helping clean off your brother. Hi. Oh my goodness. Those are some 
big old baby streamer. You grew them well. Some big babies. So he got a big chug off of mama. And this little girl's looking to find it herself. Hi. What's up, mister? How we doing? Oh, it's scary. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. What is going on? around those eyes and they look a little brown. Oh, hi, baby. Here, you want me to guide you? Right there. Right there. No, no, right here. There you go. Okay, they're smart too, Dreamer. Oh, you almost had it. Right there. There you go. Don't mess it up, big brother. <laughs> right here. Right there. Right there. You're so close. <laughs> what do you think about this little dude? Pretty special. So there you go. First Aragon babies for us. We got a silver chamose and a pretty little gonna be chocolate dough. You don't need to dig no more, girl. Oh, how precious. Mommy and daughter with gorgeous blue eyes. Yeah. He's a big guy, man. Healthy little kid. Right up there. Right there, right there. Oh, did she get it over here? Oh, she did, she did. Good job, girl. There we go. How cool is that? I say it all the time, but they are so amazing. Can you imagine if humans were that ready to conquer the world as soon as they came out? Crazy. She's a good eater. Of course, Mama had to move. <laughs>
after she gives birth. Let's see if she watch. Of course I said it, she won't want it. Look what I got. Look. Oh, she loves it. There you go, baby. Gives her lots of energy. And there are live, viable microorganisms in there to help her belly function properly. And you're too cute. I just love you. That's it. You don't get no more today, okay? That's it. Look how cute. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. She loves her jump start. Dreamer, you did so good. And they're still eating. Look at this little guy. All right, while she's finishing cleaning them off, I also brought Lily in a stall last night because she was acting sus. I think that, what are you doing here, girl? Okay. And that happened last night. All right, so this is Lily. Uh, she was born in November of 2017. Her sire is Champ and her dam is Sweet Lacey. Um, she was bred to Vader this year. This is Lily's sixth kidding and she has given us a total of nine bucks and four does. So, and that does include this kidding. Let me see here, and oh my gosh, he's a tank. This is one of her little bucklings. Super flashy, of course. Of course, Vader loves to throw the flash. And he is brown-eyed and horn, but he is a star bee buckling. And, and what that means is he comes from really great milk lines, and they're their lungs work really good too. I, if I could, he's a tank, guys. He's like built like Lacey. He's awesome. Okay. I said built like Lacey, and I meant that, um, but I didn't mean to say Lily, who is also built like Lacey, her mama. So anyway. And she had another little tank. This is another little boy. And he almost is solid black, but he's got just a couple little white spots on him and a little white tip of the tail. And he is brown eyed and horned, but these two are gonna be amazing herd sires. Some really heavy milk lines, really, really great confirmation. And I'm just so excited about it. So of course, this little dude is also a star bee buckling. Good job, Lily. Oh, fancy seats over here. Hi. Hi. All right, so Lily, as I said, I brought her in the stall with Dreamer last night. Um, I did think Lily was gonna go before Dreamer, and I didn't think it would be last night. I thought it would be today. But sure enough, when I came out here before chore time just to peek and see what was going on with these girls, she had two huge boys on the ground, already cleaned up. And so it was a good morning surprise. Look at how neat you are. Too cute. And these little guys are just kind of wandering around like, like they're four days old or something. Huh, huh, Lily? Oh my goodness, they're big boys. They're gonna be very deep bodied. Too cute. So, as far as the guessing game between Emily and I with Lily, um, I guessed three and Emily guessed three and she had two. Same with Dreamer. So as of today, me and Emily are even Steven. Neither one of us is winning just yet, but she's still going down. I guess she's gonna lose this year. But this is really cool. So it's been a good day. We got two, Dreamer's trying to test me out. We got uh, two goats that gave birth and everything was perfect. That really works out that these little guys are little tanks because there is something that happens 
um, right about now every kidding season. See, this group of little playfulness down here is now what three four days older yep and they and they grow so fast that we always kind of end up with a first group which you know is a <laughs> which is a week or two older than the other ones and i was worried that that was already happening but looking at the size of these fellas and that doe there mixed down here with these all these first freshener kids they're gonna they're gonna join the uh daycare pen just nicely wouldn't you say i think absolutely and be honest, maybe these little guys need to worry about the tanks because they're some big boys. Apologize for the wind, guys. I I was uh, debating on buying a barn, but we decided to buy uh, land in Arkansas instead. So that's where the barn's going to be whenever we get there. So the babies are waking up and they've been so playful. They're absolutely adorable, you guys. This one here might be my favorite. Love puppy. So this is Molly's baby. I love her. She's quieting down. She was actually really a loud mouth and she's getting a little better. Huh. But they're too cute. She's a little daycare. <laughs> You went up there too. All right, you guys, so it's been a really awesome day so far. Um, I'm gonna end this video here and go get ready for the rain that's coming. And we will see you all again very soon.